everyone and welcome to my channel in the last tutorial we worked on the dutch spiral bracelet and this is the one we made in the tutorial so as promised today we are working on the necklace version of it and i decided to make it a bit chunkier since it's a necklace it's not that much bigger but the one difference here is we are using bugle beads and I think it makes it look neater because the more seed beads you add, you know, the the more, uh, it's not really messy, but the more seed beads you add, you know, the more uncontrolled it becomes. So here, instead of adding so many seed beads, I changed it to bugle beads and it adds it a bit of an elegance. I think I really like the look with the, with the bugle beads. So that's why I wanted to show you how to do it. It's very simple. It doesn't change the procedure at all. It just changes the number of beads you're using. That's all it is. So I'm gonna be using here, we used a three mm, but today I'm gonna be using four mm fire polish. So I'm gonna be using this mint luster. And then instead of here, we used only 11 O's. Here we're gonna use some eight O's. And for that, I'm gonna be using check eight O's. I don't have many eight O's, so I just had to compromise here a bit. So I'm gonna be using check eight O's, like a, I don't know, bronze. Uh, it's like a red copper color. And then uh, with the bugle beads here, we're gonna use some eight O's. So I'm using bugle beads and 11 O's, I mean, of the same color. So that's all the beads I'm gonna use. And then you will need a clasp. Here I use the box clasp, like the ones you would use on a pearl necklace. It's quite nice in there, but I'm gonna be using a rose gold hook clasp here to match the uh, eight toes here. So, and then you'll need a thread. Because of my uh, fire polish here is transparent, I have to use some color that won't stick out too much. So I'm gonna be using gray nylon size D beading needle size 10 and scissors to cut the thread. So go ahead, thread your needle with two yards. You're gonna be adding thread a lot here. I think I added six times for this necklace. So go ahead, thread your needle with comfortable length. Don't try to make take too much. You're just gonna get confused and then we'll get straight to work. Now I have all my beads ready on the side. I thread my needle with two yards. And if you can hear it, it's raining quite heavy. But I'm quite enjoying it, so I'm still gonna go ahead and do the tutorial. So we're gonna start by picking up one fire polish, three eight O's, and then one eleven O. So I have one fire polish, three eight O's, and one eleven O. Just remember, eight O's I'm using check. But this design is not very, you know, you don't really have to use specific beads. You can use Eito Miyuki's, you can use Eito Toho and stuff. You'll be fine with any Eitos here. And then I'm gonna drop it down. I'm gonna leave a tail of about six, seven inch. That will be enough to add one side of the clasp. And then I'm gonna make two overhand knots over this. Then I'm gonna go ahead, take my needle through the fire polish, pick up one fire polish, Oops. and then I'm gonna go straight through the next eight hole. We're just gonna put that bead in there. Pick up one eight hole. So every time you're coming out, let's say we came out of the fire polish, we picked up a fire polish. Now we came out of Eito, we pick up Eito. So it's very easy sequence. Wherever you're coming out of, you pick up same bead. So now I'm, I picked up Eito, I'm gonna go through the next Eito. So first row is gonna be a bit wonky, but from next one on, it's gonna get easier. Then I'm coming out of Eito, I'm gonna pick up Eito, and then go through the next one. Just want it there. And then here, I'm coming out of the A toe, but I'm at the end of the rows now. This is the part where we add the fluff, like the uh, curly spiral part. And we're just gonna start increasing the number of those beads to increase the size of the spiral. For example, here, this is basically where we are now. It's quite tiny, but increasing the number of the beads that your spiral is going to get bigger so that's what we're going to do and now here i'm coming out of the ato i'm going to pick up ato but then we're at the fluff part and so you have to pick up those beads i have one here already 
I'm going to pick up two this time. And then you're going to go through the fire polish, the one that's at the top. You have to step up now. And then pull the threads. As I said in the beginning, it's a bit wonky, but if you just follow what I'm doing, you'll be fine. Then here, I'm coming out of the fire polish. I pick up a fire polish, go. Now, from now on, we just do period stitch. See all the sticking out points? That's where we go. I'm gonna go through the next sticking out bead. Then, I'm coming out of the ato. I pick up ato and then go through the next sticking out bead. I'm coming out of ato, I pick up ato and then go through this last ato here. Now when I'm done with the payout part, I like to just pull the thread a bit. And then I'm gonna pick up ato because I'm coming out of the ato, but we had the fluff part. So now here I have two, I pick up three elevenos this time. And then go through the top fire polish because we are stepping up. And just let it fall down in its place and just pull your thread. Now I'm coming out of the fire polish. I pick up a fire polish and then go through the next sticking out bead. I'm coming out of ato. I pick up ato and then go through the next sticking out bead. So you skip the bead at the bottom and then go through the next sticking out bead. You're coming out of the ato, pick up ato, and then go through the last sticking out ato here. And then here I just like to pull my thread nice and tight. And now I'm coming out of the ato, I pick up ato, and then the fluff beads. I have three here, I pick up four. I just call them fluff beads, I don't know, I, I'm just stuck with that term. I have no idea how you call them. This is just basically uh, beads that create that spiral so that's what I call it doesn't matter really and now I go through the top fire polish and now pick up fire polish go through the next sticking out bead from now on it's just repetitious you're basically doing peyote with a bit of an embellishment and it turns it into a spiral that's all it is now pick up ato, go through the next sticking out bead. Pick up ato, go through the next sticking out bead. And if you notice, my atos are not exactly the same shape, but I'm not uh, changing them. I'm just gonna stick with whatever bead I get. And then I'm gonna pick up one ato. This time I pick up five 11s. One, two, three, four, five, and then go through the top fire polish. Just pull the thread, pick up fire polish, go through the next sticking out bead. Pick up 11 out, 8 go through the next sticking out bead. Pick up 8 go through the last sticking out bead. And then here, I just like to pull my thread nice and tight before I continue. And then I pick up ato because I'm coming out of the ato and the fluff beads. Here I have five. This time I pick up six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then go through the top fire polish. Stepping up. And then you pick up fire polish. Go through the next sticking out bead. Then you pick up ato, go through the next sticking out bead. Then pick up ato and then go through the last sticking out bead. Which is the last ato here. And then here I'm just gonna pull the thread nice and tight. I'm coming out of the ato. I pick up ato, and then this time I pick up seven fluff beads. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven. And then go through the top fire polish, stepping up. I'm coming out of the fire polish, I pick up a fire polish and then go through the next sticking out bead. Pick up 8 0, go through the next sticking out bead. Pick up 8 0, go through the last sticking out bead. Then pull the thread nice and tight. Pick up 8 0, because I'm coming out of the 8 0 and the fluff beads. This time I pick up 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then go through the top fire polish, stepping up. Pick up fire polish, go through the next sticking out bead. The more it expands, it easier it gets to bead. Pick up a toe, go through the next sticking out bead. Pick up a toe, go through the last sticking out bead. Here, I'd like to pull my thread nice and tight. Pick up a toe and pick up nine fluffy beads, fluff beads. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I have nine seed beads. And then go through the fire polish. And then pick up fire polish, go through the next sticking out bead. Pick up eight o. Go through the next sticking out bead. Pick up a toe. Go through the last sticking out bead. And then here I would like to pull my thread nice and tight. From now on, the last time we added nine brown beads. The next one, it's gonna be ten. But what I like to do, six beads in between, I change to the bugle. Because this bugle I'm using, is identical to the width of six tohos, six 11 o tohos. So next point would be to pick up 10 11 o's. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pick up two 11 o's, one bugle, two 11 o's, which will give me the width of 10 11 o's. And I'm gonna stick to that until the very end. So I'm gonna start with eight o because we're coming out of the eight o. Then I'm gonna pick up two 11 o's, one bugle, to 11 o's. This is the sequence I'm gonna pick up all the way till the end. And then I'm gonna go through the top fire polish. Then I'm gonna pick up a fire polish, go through the sticking out bead, pick up a toe, go through the sticking out bead, pick up a toe, go through the next sticking out bead. And then here, pull the thread nice and tight. Then you pick up a toe because you're coming out of the a toe. And then the fluff beads. Two 11 o's, one bugle, two 11 o's. And then go through the top fire polish. So I'm gonna show you how to do it one more time. And then from there you just go on until you reach your required length for your necklace because it's identical. You do. It's the same sequence on and on. So you pick up one fire polish, go through the next sticking out bead. You pick up one eight-o, go through the next sticking out bead. Pick up one eight-o, go through the last sticking out bead. Here I like to pull my thread nice and tight. Pick up one eight-o, two eleven o's, one bugle, two eleven o's. And then go through the top fire polish. And then you pick up fire polish, go through the sticking out bead, pick up a toe, go through the sticking out bead, pick up a toe, go through the last sticking out bead. And pull the thread nice and tight. Now if I just show you the whole thing, look what I what we did so far. It's the beginning of the spiral. 
and even the eight O's of different shapes and sizes, it adds the charm. I'm quite liking it. See, some of them are very thin, some of them are quite uh, thick, but it's just the the design is not very. Uh, you don't really have to have very identical beads in this design. That's why it's great to use up some of the check beads as well. But look how gorgeous it is. You just continue on and on and on until you get your required length. Uh, I don't. I didn't really size this one. I just stopped when I thought it's enough for my neck. So if I just take a ruler, let's say from this part, six inch, 12 inch, 18 inch. So I made 18 inch necklace this one. So when I leave you uh, numbers of beads, I will be leaving it for 18 inch. You can make it shorter, you can make it longer, you can make it super long. It's entirely up to you. But I just wanted it really neat and nice round collar necklace to go around your neck. That's all I wanted. But how you want it, it's entirely up to you. So I'm going to meet you back here once I have the full length. And when you have to add a thread, I'm not going to show you how to add thread in this one because I did show on this bracelet, but you don't really have to go back there. What you do, see this uh, bronze part here, the uh, red copper part, it's payout. So if you bring your needle to the beginning of the payout, you just get rid of the tail as you would in any payout stitch and add as in any payout stitch. So you just remember where you stopped off and then continue from there. So if you don't know how to add to payout, then I can help you out a bit. In the description box, I will leave a link to a short video where I show you how to do that. So get the required length, and then I'm gonna show you how to uh, taper down, because see, we tapered upwards here from a really tiny circle. We went all the way to this puffiness. And in, in the end, I'm gonna show you how to taper down and attach the clasp. So I'm gonna see you in a bit. So I went ahead and made the whole link and attached one side of the clasp. So we're gonna now taper down and then I'm gonna show you how to attach the clasp on this side. Both sides are quite identical. You just, you know, they both have jump rings on ends, so same way. But look how gorgeous it's turning out. I'm loving the color combo here. So, pull my thread here I added the last fluff beads with the uh, uh, bugle now we're gonna taper down which means we're gonna start decreasing the number of beads here so I'm gonna pick up I'm coming out of the 8 toe so I'm gonna pick up 8 toe and now I'm gonna pick up 9 11 nose here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 that's eight, nine. So I picked up one eight o and nine eleven o's, and I'm gonna go through the top part polish. Pull the thread, pick up a fire polish, go through the sticky point. Pick up eight o, go through the sticky point. Pick up eight o, go through the last sticky point. Pull the thread, pick up 8 o and 8 11 o's this time. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then go through the fire polish at the top, stepping up here. Pick up fire polish, go through the sticking out point. Pick up 8 o, go through the sticking out point. Pick up 8 o, and then go through the last sticking out point which is the last 8 o. and now we pick up 8 o and 7 11 o's this time 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and then go through the top fire polish pick up fire polish go through the sticking out point pick up 8 o go through the sticking out point Pick up 8 o, go through the last sticking out point, pull the thread, pick up 8 o, and 6 11 o's. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we're slowly decreasing the number of 11 o's here. And then go through the top fire polish. Pick up fire polish, 
go through the sticking out point, pick up eight-o, go through the sticking out point, pick up eight-o, go through the last sticking out point, which is the last eight-o, and then we pick up eight-o, and then five elevenos. One, two, three, four, five. Go through the top fire polish. Pick up fire polish. Go through the sticking out point. Pick up eight-o. Go through the sticking out point. Pick up eight-o. Go through the last sticking out point. And then pull your thread here. Pick up eight-o. And then four eleven o's this time. One, two, three, four. Go through the top fire polish. Pick up a fire polish, go through the next sticking out point. Pick up eight o, go through the next sticking out point. Pick up eight o, go through the sticking out point, which is the last eight o. And then pull the thread. See how it's decreasing in size? Then I'm gonna pick up eight o and three eleven o's. One, two, three. Go through the top fire polish, pick up fire polish, go through the next sticking out point, pick up eight o, go through the next sticking out point, pick up eight o, go through the last sticking out point, which is the last eight o. And then we pick up eight o and two eleven o's this time, go through the top fire polish. Pick up fire polish, go through the next sticking out point, pick up 8 o, go through the next sticking out point, pick up 8 o, go through the last sticking out point, pull the thread nice and tight, then pick up 1 8 o, and then 1 11 o, and then go through the top fire polish. Now here we do something different. You're coming out of the fire polish. Now you go through the sticking out beads. You go through this sticking out bead, second eight o. Then you go this sticking out bead. See, you leave out the bottom ones. You just go through the sticking out beads, and then you go through the last two beads. You added one eight o, one eleven o, and then go through the fire polish. Now pull your thread nice and tight and then make that round again. Just go through these beads again. Then I'm gonna pick up three eleven o's and then one fire polish. Drop it down, my clasp, gonna take it through the jump ring there, gonna go back through the fire polish, I'm gonna pick up three eleven o's, and see that top fire polish, see we're coming out of this side, I'm gonna go through this side. Basically, you're coming around through the other side. And that's basically attached now. All we have to do is just reinforce it. So I'm gonna go through this side up, through the jump ring, and this side down. Now here, we do something different. I'm gonna pick up one 11 -0. I'm gonna go downwards through this 11 0 and the 8 0 after. I'm gonna go around through these two 8 0s, one at a time. Pick up one 11 0, go up, go through the jump ring. Come back through the fire polish and then go down this side. Through 
So basically it's done. All we have to do is just get rid of the tail. And I'm just gonna spiral down through those eight O's that form our um, payout stitch. Why is it becoming so messy? Okay. And then I'm just gonna spiral down. So I'm just going down through the payout now. All these eight O's form the payout stitch. So I'm just gonna go down several rows. Now here I'm gonna make my first knot. Go down several rows. I'm gonna make one more knot here. Go down several rows and to be just super secure I'm gonna make one more knot because this is the end and I just want things to be nice and secure and I have quite a long thread left to work with so it usually depends on that and now here I can go ahead and cut the thread at the very base. And look at the white one. Both gorgeous. I'm really liking this necklaces and two funky colored bracelets. So that's Dutch spiral for you. Pretty easy to make, very gorgeous results. So thanks for watching guys and make sure to subscribe if you haven't done so. For all the details of the beads you need, all the quantities you need, don't forget to check out the description box. I always leave stuff there. So if you didn't catch stuff during the tutorial, usually you just go down there and it's all written down. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.